Based on what we have learned about characteristics of the animal groups, you are supposed to take your highlighter, only highlight the unique characteristics of the animal groups. For the topic on animals, students are usually very excited about it. But instead of having them refer to just their textbook for the facts, I wanted them to have a lesson that is based in the nature, so that it's more interactive and more authentic experience for them. In class, me and my friends work together as a group to find about unique characteristics about different animal groups. I choose to use Google Slides because I think it is a tool that is very good for facilitating collaboration among students. When the students work on different animal groups, they can focus on what is the task assigned to them. But at the same time, when I need them to put together all their different group work, they can also look at the completed work as a class effort. Me and my group went on to SLS and then we could see our group's answer. After that, we used the app to check our answers to see if we were correct. I can collaborate more and check my friend's uh, answers. So the technological tools actually allow students to practice essential skills in science, such as recording important observations, analysing the information, and then making connections to what they are learning. We walk around the science garden in groups of three, and then me and my friend took turns to scan the black and white photos. There were speech bubbles with information about the animals. And we get to learn about unique characteristics about each animal group. Hence, I thought technology in this area helps them to deepen their learning, not just simply acquiring facts. I would prefer more lessons to be conducted in this manner because it was more interactive and it was also a bit of augmented reality so it was more interesting. If we were allowed to go to the science garden for like every science lesson, I'm, I'm going to be like jumping with joy. Yeah.